I grew up in a small country town in Ireland, a small farming community with uh, 4,000 people. You know, if my father was a vet, I'd want to be a vet. If my father was a farmer, I'd want to be a farmer. But my father was a very, very good footballer, Gaelic footballer, so I just wanted to be like my dad, grow up playing football for Kerry. So any chance I got, I'd practice playing Gaelic football against the side of the house. Me and my brother used to just kick the ball off there constantly, all day, every day. Every Saturday morning, we'd uh, get up, and the first thing we'd do is put on footage of my dad playing football, and uh, we could do commentary of the actual game. We knew it inside out, and uh, we wore that tape. We wore that tape out, it was fantastic. So the Swans came to Ireland, you know, looking for a, a young up-and-coming Gaelic footballer, and I signed on and uh, took two years out to Australia. Yeah, so here I was, 17 years of age, never been on a plane, Got to Sydney with uh, five million people, and uh, I was to go here. Knew nobody. It was a lot of homesickness. I had to learn a new game, new culture, new country, and uh, people couldn't understand what I was saying. I couldn't understand them. But uh, I got to play my first game after being here a year and a half. So in 2005, we won the Premiership. It was uh, fantastic to have my, my mom and dad there, and, and my brother, and some cousins, and just to see them there and, and to be part of it because I'd worked so hard I was supposed to be like my father and to be successful at the highest level. It was great to have him there and, and you could see the proudness and how proud he was of me at that day. Ty Kennelly, one goal, five for the season. What a goal it was earlier in the year. Kennelly, that's it! Oh, Ty Kennelly. A special rule, 14 <laughs> possessions. Oh. What a story. Why wouldn't you do the jig? <laughs> Um, so it was great to have my father there, part of myself winning the Premiership in September 2005 and then eight weeks later my, my father passed away and I think when you're away from home you, you're always thinking about getting a phone call in the middle of the night, it's never during the day and sure enough it was a phone call in the middle of the night that my dad had passed away so for the first time ever I realised how far away Australia was from Ireland. Yeah, what was next to do in my life and after winning Premiership and my family were part of it, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was pretty easy really, it was go home and do what my father had always done and my brother had done is, is win a, a premiership with Kerry. So I'd, I'd been in Australia for, for 10 years playing with the oval ball and the round ball was very foreign to me. I, I went back and I was wondering how am I going to get my kicking technique back and uh, I said to my brother, you know, what am I going to do? And he goes, just do what we did as kids, and kick that round ball off the wall and kick the crap out of it basically and uh, that's what I'd done. And uh, before I knew it I had my kicking technique back. Perhaps it was my inner child, you know, coming out of me that time when I was kicking the round ball off the wall, going back to those memories of, you know, watching the footage of my dad play, and kicking the ball off, off the, just pretending I was my father, pretending I was the best Gaelic footballer in Ireland. And that was what was so fresh and so good about 2009, going back and playing with Kerry, having all those memories come back to me. Very few seconds left now. The referee blows his whistle. Kerry win the All-Ireland. Kerry are the All-Ireland champions. From Australia to emulate what his dad did. Look at the smile on his face because Ty Kennelly has won the All Ireland medal he wanted to win to go with the Premiership medal he won back in 2005 with the Sydney Swans. It, it, it's, it's pretty amazing to think where I've, I've come from and uh, what I've done in my, in my career. Um, probably the biggest thing is I've really stayed true to my own character of being a child from Ireland. Uh, kicking a ball off a wall, watching my father win all Ireland medals, come out to Australia, win a premiership, go back home, win all Ireland. But I'm still just a little boy kicking the ball off a wall and staying true to who I am as a, a footballer, as a person, and uh, it's that character that I suppose has got me where I am today.